Hey there Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your April 2023 reading. Welcome. Now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more for you at this time, okay? So let's jump right in and get some energy for Pisces. Okay, so we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so you may be healing. You may have a need to forgive someone who's around you, right? And we also have at the bottom, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so keep it positive. You know, even though, even if you're going through a hard time at the moment, keep it positive, Pisces, okay? Because good things will be coming out of that positivity, out of that being optimistic, right? So, that optimistic energy pursues good things, you know? It attracts, it shows confidence. Okay, and confidence always wins the battle. Okay, so yeah, take notice of that. Let's get some more energy for Pisces. We have a brilliant idea. Archangel Urel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. So you may have some kind of new idea that you need to spread out into the world. Something is may have become more clear and now you just want to put it out there. It may be something that's very um, prosperous for you by sharing your idea with others. Okay, so uh, have that in your mind in April that this new idea could bring you some kind of increase, some kind of abundance. Okay, so there may be some kind of new project that you will be taking in April. Okay, and we have breathe. So take time out for yourself. Take time to rejuvenate, to relax, to just go within to find answers that you need. Okay, at the bottom we have blessed. Yes. So the number 29 and the number 22 may be very significant for you, but I feel like you're blessed here in the month of April. There's blessings that you may find is very unexpected, but even the smallest blessings are very significant, right? So yeah, take notice of, you know, those blessings that you may have unfolding in your life, okay? Let's take a, a little deeper look at Pisces love life. See what's going on in Pisces love life, please. Message for Pisces for April 2023. Message for Pisces, please. Message for Pisces. The coffee cup. So you're getting out there. You're really enjoying yourself. You may be dating. You may be, you know, getting into the scene. Um, you may have had a breakup not long ago and now you're starting over you're you know you're getting out there you're seeing the world okay we also have girl talk so i feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time with friends you're going to be making new friends but i feel like you may be happily single at this moment and just living your life right um i feel like you're kind of living in the moment you're having fun okay so that's very interesting Okay, we also have the snake. So I feel like there is someone clever. I really get that this may be someone from the past who's trying to shake things up, you know. I, I feel like, you know, um, there's someone that, the, the words I'm getting, they're just spitting venom, right? They're, they're trying to 
change someone's idea about you. Okay, so it, it could be, you know, someone from the past coming in and talking to someone that you may be dating at the moment or some kind of new relationship. But I feel like someone's spitting venom, right? Someone's trying to mess up your, your good day, you know. There's a need for you to just beware of this person. And I feel like... I really get the feeling that you know who this is because I feel like this isn't the first time they've done this, right? And I feel like they've been looking at you for a while. They've been kind of watching what you're doing and who you're spending your time with, okay? So just be aware that this person is coming back. They're coming to spit some venom in your situation, okay? So that you're aware, Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what other messages are coming out for Pisces. See what other messages are coming out for Pisces. See, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. Wow, okay. The Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So I definitely feel like there's someone who's trying to make themselves known. Um, it may be two people that you're dealing with, Pisces. But I feel like one is very caring. They're kind of protecting their energy. And the other one is very bold, very assertive. She like speaks her mind. And it, this could be a he or a she. But and I feel like one kind of really speaks their mind, really says whatever it is on their mind, whether it's hurtful or not, they just, you know, spew out this venom, right? And I feel like the other one is very caring, very protective. This may be your energy, this may be someone new, but I do feel like there's two people here. Um, because we have this two of cups. There's two people here with two different energies, with two different understandings, two different ways of thinking, okay? Um, so it could be that you have your choice between two people. You could be dealing with two different people at this time, okay? But I, I do feel like, hmm, Pisces. Oh my, my dear Pisces. And I do feel like, you know, there's people that you're putting your energy into. Um, this could be your soul tribe, your team, um, your social group. But I do feel like they're kind of being very supportive for you. They're being supportive on whatever that you're doing. And I do feel like you have a lot of plans. You're making plans in the month of April. Um, you're... You may be even making travel plans, you know, um, going on vacation or doing something. But I, I really feel like there's some kind of travel. And it may be a group thing. You may be traveling as a group. It might be hmm, some kind of group excursion or, um, but I feel like you're traveling with a group. There's more than just you, okay? Um, so very interesting here. And I do see that you may need to look at your finances and be very careful with your spending. Um, I feel like there's a need to balance your spending more. Um, but I also feel like you're protecting your finances. You're protecting something that you don't want taken away. That you don't want to uh, give up, right? Um, I feel like you're protecting some kind of energy because you want this to grow. You want this to thrive, okay? So it could be an investment. It could be something that you invested your time into, your effort, but I feel like there's something that you're protecting, okay? Now, in the month of April, I feel like you are gonna have some brilliant ideas here. There's new creative 
ideas that are coming forward. They're like bursting forward. Very passionate, very fiery, very intense. And there's something that you're going to take a lot of action to do. Okay? So I feel like there is this new opportunity for uh, to put together some creative idea that you really need to take action on. Okay? And definitely, definitely, I feel like you are... You're in this situation, and I'm feeling that it's very, very intimate. Very intimate. This is someone that you may have a crush on, that may have a crush on you. Um, but I feel like this is, you know, very, very new, but it's very intense. And I feel like this person wants to protect their energy. They want to protect themselves. Maybe they've been hurt in the past. Maybe they've been in certain situations to where they did not feel secure. But I feel like this person is protecting themselves in some way. And now there's this other person. There's this other person who really wants to be understood. They kind of demand it. You know, like I'm demanding that you understand me in like a confrontational way. There's someone who's not below battling over something that they want. And I feel like, I feel like you are the battle, Pisces. You are something that they're fighting for, that, that they're like demanding to be heard, to get their truth off of their chest. Okay, so I, I do feel like there's this other energy here of someone who is very demanding, very persuasive. They kind of demand your attention. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's get some clarity for these cards. Let's get a message. Let's get some clarity for these cards, please. Message for Pisces. The King of Pentacles. Message for Pisces. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. The Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Yeah. Okay. At the bottom, we have the King of Cups. Okay, so we have your energy. You're pouring your emotions here, you know. Um, I feel like you're going to have some emotional times, but you're going to be able to control how you're feeling very easily. Um, and I, I feel like you are... There's someone that you're head over heels about. There's someone that you're truly falling for, Okay. Um, and I feel like it's something that you didn't expect. And there that Queen of Swords is again. And I feel like this Queen of Swords, she's very persuasive. But she's like demanding your attention here. And, you know, here on this one, she has the sword down. Like, okay, I demand that you hear me, right? I'm making it known. Here, on this side... The sword is up. So she's fully gotten out what she wanted to say, right? And she feels like she has this new understanding. And I feel like you're listening. I feel like you're taking it in with this King of Cups, Queen of Swords energy. Because I feel like there's something about this person that's very valuable, that's very endearing, right? Um, I feel like this person has a lot of qualities that you really find very attractive. Like it's something that you really want to invest your time into. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're kind of seeing this person as someone you can create a life. 
you know like this person is kind of like a world traveler they're very they're very innovative they're very endearing they take chances and and I feel like you find that a very big quality like you're seeing that as something that's very successful like it's something that's a, a great achievement right and and I feel like it's very attractive to you it's something that you find is a very good quality so this queen of swords being demanding she might be the one that gains your interest that really you know kind of draws you in you know with her persistence her flair her um lack of um her lack of um not holding back right um so it's very interesting here we're going to look more into this okay but with the uh, Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something that you're putting your energy into that's bringing you a lot more success, a lot more stability. And you're no longer wondering if this is going to go your way because you kind of, you're, you're seeing more of the, of your resources increasing due to something that you're putting more energy into, something that you're planning, okay? And with the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Like I said, I was feeling like this is travel plans. And I feel like you are traveling. You are moving to some different location, right? Um, you may be literally moving into a new home, a new house, or an, a new apartment. You may, go in, you may be going to a different city, seeing the world, seeing, you know, what's out there. But I feel like you're traveling. You're moving. You're moving into this better situation. You're having more fun, more, you know, uh, you're getting more of an understanding of what's out there and what can be your possibilities. Okay? Because I, I feel like, I feel like this may have been something that you've been waiting to do. This is something that you put a lot of plan into. Okay. With this Ace of Wands energy, I feel like this is something that you need to, you know, just let it take its time. Let it take its flow. Okay. Be very patient with this because with uh, new ideas, sometimes they need to grow and prosper before the true blessings start to come out. But I feel like this is going to be very prosperous for you. This is going to bring you success. But it's something that you need to have patience with. You need to see the ideas grow and flourish. Okay? So don't try to force something to happen. Just let them flow naturally. Right? Okay. With this Two of Cups and this Queen of Cups, <clears throat> we have the... Knight of Pentacles. So there's something that's going to make you very happy. There, in this situation, there's something that's going to be very surprising. But I feel like whatever this Two of Cups, Queen of Cups is offering, I feel like it's a solid offer. It's something that's going to bring stability. I feel like this is someone who's very loyal, very caring, very uh, open to you know, feeling new things, seeing new things. But this person is also very protected in a sense. They're protecting their energy from some sort of situation. So this person may also have been hurt in the past. So just be aware. But this is a very good offer here. This is something that you're going to find value in. Okay? And with this... King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Oh my. Now look at this. They both have their swords down. Okay. So they're both kind of expecting the situation to go their own way. You know, I want it this way. I want it this way. Right. They're like demanding that they be heard, that they be seen, 
that they be understood. Okay, so I feel like this king and queen of swords. But there's something about her that you find very appealing, Pisces. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have put your time into it. But I feel like, you know, you are becoming this king of swords here. You're like taking authority. You're taking the higher ground. You're like, wait a minute, you want it this way, but I want it this way. I'm standing my ground. I'm not backing down, you know, so you can either take it or leave it, right? So I feel like you're, be you're being very stern. You're being very authoritative in your situation. You're like, this is, this is how it is. This is how I am. I'm not changing for anybody. You know, take me as I am. Right. And I feel like this queen of swords, she's like, I, I feel like she backs down because in the other card, she had her sword up. OK, so I feel like she's like accepting the way things are, the way things need to be. So definitely there may be two people in your in your situation at the moment. This also could be two aspects of their personality they could be very caring at one point and very demanding at another so this could definitely be a uh, pisces cancer or um, scorpio or it could be a gemini libra aquarius okay but that is the energy that i'm getting here that it's very kind of back and forth right so let's get some romance tarot. Let's see what else is coming out. Let's get some more messages for Pisces, please. More messages for Pisces for April. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we have successful completion. This is the world card, and we actually saw that uh, earlier in the world card. So the number 21 may be very significant. This is a time of incredible accomplishments. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion, a pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Okay? So something is happening. Okay? You also have some decisions that you need to make. This is a two of thought, two of swords. Okay? Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for a sign as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Okay, so there is a choice that you need to make. Maybe it's between these two. You know, you may not be able to make the choice at the moment, but I feel like there's a need, right? Okay, we also have the healer of action. Okay, this is the Queen of Wands. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with ease okay and at the bottom we have the helper of abundance okay so although you have a lot to do it's important that you get organized first once planning is complete you can roll up your sleeves and get to work your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, quick wit, and endless patience. This person could be you, 
right? So that is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so wow, that's a lot to contemplate, you know? Um, let's take a look at the Manifestation Moonology. See what is coming out for you. These cards just don't want to cooperate today. See, we have uh, Full Moon and Libra. Find a balance. You know, find alignment with yourself. You may need to align your chakras. You know, find balance. Meditate. Contemplate. Right? We also have Full, excuse me, Last Quarter Moon and Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. So it's a time to plan and set your priorities correctly. Okay? And we have last quarter moon and Leo, lighten up. You know, take time to breathe, time to feel alive, time to, you know, open your heart to new things. Okay, so it's a time of reflection as well. Okay, let's get some more messages for Pisces. Let's get some more messages for Pisces, please. Okay, we have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Be true to yourself, right? And we also have surrender to the divine. Definitely. Okay. And let's get another card for Pisces. Okay, we have problem solving. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of resolution. Something is going to be resolved. Something that may have been bothering you that you may not have had the answers to. Something is going to come to a conclusion. And you are going to have clarity on that situation. Okay? And let's see. We also have premonition. There's some kind of prophecy that's going to be re revealed to you. It may have to do with some kind of past life situation. Um, but this past life, this is also delivering gifts, right? Um, so there may be something very significant. At the bottom, we do have travel. So you're, you're definitely, you definitely could be traveling at this time. This could be a new journey, a new path. But it could also be a new location. So you could definitely be traveling at this time. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at your angel number. Let's get a number for Pisces. What is your angel number, please? Okay. Yeah, we have 1313 13, clarity. So things are going to become more clear. You're going to have the answers that you deserve, that you are asking for, okay? As the storm passes, the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against the dark sky. The divine is reminding you that clarity is readily available and all you have to do is ask. You have weathered the storm and now the sky is clearing, okay? Your affirmation, loving energy surrounds me and I trust that the clarity I feel is the answer that I need. Okay, so beautiful energy here, Pisces. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If it doesn't resonate, please take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time. And I certainly hope that this reading finds you well. Pisces, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.